go to jail. This is Artifacts of Mars. And what you're seeing is probably the end of Hillary's campaign right here. They found 650,000 emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop. And as more, it says the DOJ blocked foundation probe. That would be Mr. Andrew McCabe, who I pointed out in another video, basically took a bribe. His wife was received 675000 uh from a uh, Clinton friend and from other sources, Democratic Party. And then he gets involved in Hillary's uh, criminal investigation, which is a no-no. He should have recru recused himself immediately. Or his wife should have refused to accept the money. But neither one of those happened. And it's, so we have this situation where apparently he took a bribe. Well, basically what we have here, they found so many emails that it's going to take a long, long time. According to the Wall Street Journal, it appears that federal agents are preparing to scour roughly 650,000 emails that, as we were four moments ago, were discovered weeks ago on the laptop of Anthony Weiner. See how many re relate to a fire probe of Hillary Clinton's email use as metadata on the device suggests there may be thousands sent to or from the private server that Democratic nominee used while she was Secretary of State. As the Wall Street Journal adds, the review will take weeks at a minimum to determine whether those messages are work-related emails between Huma Aberdeen, a close Clinton aide, and the estranged wife of Mr. Weiner and the State Department officials. How many are duplicates of emails already reviewed by the FBI and whether they include either classified information or important new information on the Clinton emails probe, which FBI officials call mid-year. As we further reported in the earlier today, FBI had to wait a court order to begin reviewing the emails because they were uncovered in a related probe of Mr. Weiner, and that order was delayed for reasons that remained unclear. Well, it's pretty easy to understand. It's stalling. More stunning is just how many emails are found on Wiener's computer, and while one can only imagine the content of some of the most personal, more personal ones, Wall Street Journal writes that the latest development began in early October when New York-based FBI officials notified Am Andrew McCabe, the Bureau's second-in-command, and while investigating Mr. Wiener for possibly sending sexually charged messages to a minor, they had recovered a laptop with 650,000 emails. Many, they said, were from the accounts of Ms. Abedin, according to people familiar with the matter. Now, I'm going to sc scroll down. I'm not going to read this whole thing. The second big topic is Clinton Foundation, how the DOG made sure that particular probe never made light of day. Same time Clinton server was being investigated, other Clinton related investigations were underway within the FBI and they have been subject to of internal debate for months. Months. Early this year, four FBI field offices, New York, Los Angeles, Washington, Little Rock, Arkansas, were collecting information about Clinton. Foundation to see if there is evidence of financial crimes or influence 
as when according to people familiar with the matter. The Wall Street Journal touches on something fascinating. Los Angeles agents had picked up information about Clinton Foundation from unrelated public corruption case and had issued some subpoenas for bank records related to the foundation these people said. So where did the trail go? Apparently nowhere. Washington field office was probing financial relationships involving Mr. McAuliffe before he came, became a Clinton Foundation board member, these people said. McAuliffe had denied any wrongdoing. His lawyer has said his probe was focused on whether he failed to register as an agent of a foreign entity. FBI field office in New York had done the most work on the Clinton Foundation case and received help from the FBI field office in Little Rock, people familiar with matters said. In February, FBI officials made a presentation to Justice Department, according to these people, by all accounts, meaning it didn't go well. Some said it's because the FBI didn't present compelling evidence to justify more aggressively pursuing pursuit of the Clinton Foundation and that the career of public integrity prosecutors in the room simply didn't believe that it wasn't a very strong case. Others said that from the start, Justice Department officials were stern, icy, and dismissive of the case. That was one of the weirdest meetings I've ever been to. One participant told Others afterward, according to people familiar with the matter, needless to say, the probe in the Clinton Foundation faded. Now it says down here, McCabe's defenders in the agency said they followed the call. He repeated the instruction he given earlier in the Clinton Foundation investigations. Agents were to keep pursuing the work within the authority they had. Others further down the chain of command, however, said the agents were given a much starker instruction on the case. Stand down. That sounds familiar. When agents questioned why they weren't allowed to take more aggressive steps, they said they were told the order had come from that Deputy Director, Mr. McCabe. Others familiar with the matter deny Mr. McCabe or any other senior FBI official gave such a stand-down instruction. Well, of course they deny it. That is bullshit. Uh, these people are SOL. I I think Hillary's gone. Right? I don't know what's going to happen in the next few days. Maybe she'll uh, step aside. Maybe she won't. The Chicago Tribune is suggesting that she step aside because you know face it she she's in so much trouble that it's just unbelievable uh, well Obama's apparently got into that can here you have it DOJ complaint filed against it. FBI Director James Comey for interfering in the presidential election. Complaints been filed against FBI Director James Comey at the Department of Justice Office of Professional Responsibility that accuses him of interfering in the presidential election. What a horse tongue. That's not going to go anywhere. Complaints been filed against FBI Director James Comey with the Department of Justice Office of Professional Responsibility that accuses him of interfering in the presidential election. Democratic Coalition Against Trump released a statement announcing that complaint. DNC Democratic Coalition Against Trump filed a complaint with the Department of Justice Office of Professional Responsibility on Friday against FBI Director Comey for interfering in presidential election. That's BS. That is bullshit. Since when does uh, 
pursuing justice do that? Following the FBI's decision to open up an investigation into Secretary Clinton's emails this close to election day, federal employees are forbidden from participating in political activities under the Hatch Act. It's absolutely absurd that FBI director would support Donald Trump like this with only 11 days to go before the election. How is this supporting Donald Trump? It's an obvious attack. The Scott DeWarkin, senior advisor to the Democratic Coalition against Trump, said that. It's an obvious attack from a lifelong Republican who was used to serve in Bush White House just to undermine her campaign. Comey needs to focus on stopping terrorists and protecting America now investigating our soon to be president like Hillary Clinton. So there you have it. You know this has Obama's fingerprints all over it. He may as well figure. I think Hillary's done. Don't know what's going to happen. We could get ugly. We could see Obama saying, well, we're going to have to suspend the election until after this email program gets over with. I can't believe that he would just tell Comey, sorry, you can't do this. That's not going to fly. This is nasty, folks. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with it. It's scary. We could be nearing civil war in this country. Again. We'll have to wait and see how this works out. My thinking is, like I said, Obama is going to temporarily put the election on hold until the latest probe gets over with. But I'm thinking people's patience will wear out before that'll uh, happen. I think people's patience, he does that, might get away with a few days, but it's going to take a lot longer than that. Trouble with a capital T. It's hard to know exactly what's going to happen. You know, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't look into the future, but I would say we got big time trouble. And with just over a week to go, the shit's going to hit the fan pretty soon. I want to thank some Mars. Thanks for watching. Good luck.